We were playing hide and go seek in the dark and it was my turn to count. But I'm a chicken and I gave up. So I'm just sitting in the kitchen. Because I'm in the elevator right now. It locks if you don't press a four. I don't know what was running after you. <laughs> Stop! Who are you? Unless you want to summon real life demons or get possessed by one, I suggest you don't play any of the games I'm about to talk about on today's list. From a game that captures demons and ghosts on film to another that could lead to your death. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 games scarier than a Ouija board part two. Starting off this countdown, we have the Pitcher game. This game is a way to catch a real life ghost or demon on camera. But like most of the games on this list, if done incorrectly, you could lose your life. I say this as I'm gonna tell you how to play the game, but don't. Basically, you need a bunch of crazy willing participants. You all sit in a circle with a glass of alcohol in the middle. You also each have a mirror that you have to hold onto. The mirror has to be facing the ceiling. Then you turn off the lights and everyone closes their eyes. Then they say, I trust you. The door is open, please come in. You chant this multiple times. Then you pass a camera around the circle. This has to be an old school flash camera, not just your phone's camera. Then everyone takes turns taking a picture with the camera. When they take the photo, they have to say, I caught you. The camera gets passed around three times, so everyone should take three pictures each. When the game is done, if all goes well, a ghost should appear in some of the photos that you have taken. One person that played the game claims that she captured a picture of a ghost and then was haunted by it. So I really don't recommend playing this game. In our ninth spot, we have the fortune game. If you guys are liking this video so far, why don't you give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. This is a Japanese game that goes by a number of different names. It's also sometimes called the crossroads game and I'll explain why it's called that in a second. But basically this game, if done correctly, will tell you your fortune. All you need is a comb, something to hide your face with, and a crossroads, which is an intersection with two or more roads, if you didn't know, a little FYI. At night, you go to the crossroads and you stand near a corner. You then stroke the comb so that it makes a noise. And then you repeat this, Suji Ura, grant me a true response. Then you have to hide your face. Just wait and someone will approach you. But do not reveal your face to them at any time. When they approach you, you can ask for your fortune they should tell you it. Sadly, you may not always receive the answers that you're looking for. Apparently, a number of people in Japan have taken their lives after playing this game because they received a bad fortune. So just beware. In our eighth spot, we have Dry Bones. Oh my God, it reminds me of that game Crazy Bones. Does anyone remember that game? God, throwback to the 90s. So here's a fun one. Ever wanted to play hide and seek with a demon? Well, now you can. Dry Bones is a game where you can summon a demon and then play this game with them. All you gotta do is turn off your lights, light a candle, and then go to the bathroom at exactly 12.01 a.m. You then stare at your reflection until you sense that a presence is there with you. When that happens, you say, I acknowledge your presence. I welcome you into my home for a game of hide and seek until 3 a.m. After you say that, you run as fast as you can and hide as fast as you can. Because if the demon catches you, you're basically screwed. You then have to stay hidden until 3 a.m. After 3 a.m., if you haven't been caught and you're still alive, you announce that the game is over and basically tell the demon to get out. But still, who says that this demon is even gonna listen? For all you know, this demon could now be your new forever housemate. Moving on at number seven, we have Baby Blue. I honestly don't know who came up with this next game or why it's even a thing because it's severely messed up. So basically to play this game, you gotta go to the bathroom alone and turn off the lights. First off, what is it with demons in bathrooms? Why do they choose to haunt bathrooms out of all places? Anyways, you look into the dark mirror and cradle your arms, pretending like you're holding a baby. Then you say baby blue, blue baby exactly 13 times. And it's a tongue twister. When you're done, you should feel your arms get heavy as if you're actually now holding a real baby. Then you have to flush this baby down the toilet before its mother appears in the mirror and scratches and screams at you. So what is even the point of this game? Like to test how fast your toilet can flush? Like damn. Moving on to number six, we have Candyman. 
If you've seen the movie Candyman, then you should already know how to play this game. But don't. Basically, you go to the bathroom and shut the door and turn off the lights. Again, we're in the bathroom here. What is up with bathrooms? You look in the mirror and you say Candyman five times. This is said to summon him and he will appear in your bathroom and will kill you with his hook. Now, if you have a medicine cabinet in your bathroom, then he will crawl out of the cabinet and then kill you. Again, how is this a game? Like, you don't win anything, you just end up dying a painful death. You're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Queen of Spades. I am sick of all these bathroom games, but here's another one. This is apparently Russia's version of Bloody Mary. So when it's nighttime, go to your bathroom and turn off all the lights and shut the door. Then take a Queen of Spades card and place her face against the mirror. From there, light a candle. Take some red lipstick and draw a set of stairs on the mirror with it. You then close your eyes and say, Queen of Spades, come. If this works, when you open your eyes, the Queen of Spades will be there in the mirror and you can ask her to grant you one wish. But if something goes wrong, then she will try to kill you. So then you have to quickly yell, Queen of Spades, go away, and then erase the lipstick stairs from the mirror. Some Russian boy named Ivan played this game and he said that at first nothing happened. Then all of a sudden he saw a black figure in the back of the mirror with bloody eyes. So don't play it. In our fourth spot, we have the answer man. If you've ever wanted to know the answer to all your questions, then maybe ask Google and not a demon, okay? But apparently for this game, you contact something known as the answer man. For this to work, you need a group of 10 people. You all stand in a circle with your phones in hand. Everyone then dials the number of the person to their left. At the same time, you all press send. Most of the phones will say that the number you called is busy, but one of you might just get the opposite. If the phone rings and the call goes through, you will be in direct communication with the answer man. You then can ask him questions, but there's one catch, like of course. With every question you ask, he gets to ask you one as well. And you have to always answer honestly, no matter what. If he doesn't like the answer you gave him, then you are SOL. In our third spot, we have don't look behind you. I'm saying that and I wanna look behind me because now I'm creeped out. Here's another game where you invite a demon into your house, how fun. So basically you light a candle and set it up behind three chairs. You and two other people then sit on those chairs. All together, you invite a demon to join you, but you promise them that you won't look at them. If at any point during the game you do look back behind you, the demon will attack you. Again, how is this even classified as a game? Like, it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up just thinking about it. In our second spot, we have the ghost paper challenge. Yeah, not the ghost pepper challenge, the ghost paper challenge. It's also sometimes referred to as the spirit of the door game. This game lets you ask a ghost any question that you may have for them. So just before 3 a.m., turn off all the lights in your house. Go to a room and close the door and light a candle. At exactly 3 a.m., knock on the door three times and repeat this. Spirit of the door, I welcome you. Make yourself present and come through. Then write down on a piece of paper your question and slide it halfway under the door with a pen on top. If the paper remains where you left it, then you failed and you have to try again another time. But if the paper disappears, then you have succeeded and the ghost is writing you a message. Now you can only ask the ghost three questions, never any more. When you finish asking the three questions, thank the ghost and blow out the candle. But then you can't open your door until it's light outside. So if you have to use the bathroom, you're kind of screwed. And in our number one spot, we have the dark reflection ritual. This one is super messed up, but if you survive, then you'll have a streak of good luck. But the cons definitely outweigh the pros. So begin by grabbing a mirror at sunset and take turns looking into the mirror. Look at your reflection and then breathe onto the glass to fog it up. By doing so, you're transferring all your bad energy onto the mirror. Pass the mirror along until everyone in your group has done this. Once it's been done, light a candle and hold it to the mirror. Then break the mirror and run for your life. Get away from the negative energy that you just released. Here's the thing, this energy will be latched to you for the rest of the night. So some bad incidents will likely happen. Slowly, these incidents will become more and more intense. If you survive through the night, then your bad luck will end and a good luck streak will begin. They recommend that you buy a lottery ticket because that's how good your luck will be. Sounds great, right? Well, yeah, if you survive. Remember, you're going through a whole evening of bad luck. 
you might not even make it to the morning. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which game you thought should have been on this list because there's some pretty creepy games out there. And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video top 10 Disney stars you won't recognize in 2021. Firefly Parker commented, hi, Lindsay. I love it when you say, I'll see you when I see ya. I think it's cute. Thanks, that's my little catchphrase. And guess what? I have March coming soon that says, I'll see you when I see you. And it has a really cool design. So if you're interested, buy my merch, please. <laughs> Razor Dolly commented, Care Bear Sweater. Also, man, time was not good to some of these people. Um, yeah, a lot of you complimented me on my Care Bear Sweater, which is amazing because I actually made it myself. That's right, I did a little thrift flip. It's hard to explain. You can message me on Instagram if you really care. <laughs> Jake the Ronin commented, I miss the old Disney channel. I loved watching all these guys when I was a kid. Wizards of Waverly Place and The Sweet Life were my favorites. Honestly, I agree. Like, I just... It's so sad. Thank God for Disney Plus, because I can just binge watch it forever. I was watching The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and I just, the humor, man, and all the adult jokes in it. <sighs> I freaking love it. I freaking love it. We need good shows back. Like, come on, we need a Hannah Montana reboot. Let's do it. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. When they approach you, you have to- When they- Beware, beware. After 3 a.m. and you- After 3-